Hello, welcome to my Minecraft tutorial. This is episode number 11 in my How to Survive and Thrive series. And in today's episode, we've got a big project plan. Big day. We're going to have to go to Home Depot, Bed Bath & Beyond, and get a bunch of building supplies that we're going to move to the surface and build a house. Yes, Heidi Hole has served its purpose well, but unfortunately, it's a little dark and damp and dreary, and I've got fungus growing between my toes. So let's get out of here. All right, first things first, we always go to our little chest here and grab some supplies for our building project. We're going to need a lot of cobble for this job. Grab some sand if you have it. Coal and shears. You should have shears, which we made back in episode two or three-ish or something like that. And we might want to bring the clay as well. We may not get to it today, but I do have a project for that. Okay, that's good. Now let's go over here and let's make a new furnace. We're going to make some new work tables and furnaces, etc. So that we don't have to keep coming back here. Because we're going to have a little bit of converting to do. So there's your crafting table and a furnace. We're good. Now we're going to need a lot of wood for this project as well. But we'll have to go collect that. Okay, we have an irate neighbor. What can I do for you? Hmm. I don't know what I did wrong. Must have cut down his rose bushes or something. <laughs> I actually did that once. <laughs> yeah, neighbor was not happy. It was off season. There were no roses. I didn't. They look like thorns, weedy, thorny weeds to me. Okay, I don't have much of a green thumb. Not in the real world. Anyway, okay, here we are, and I'm going to build a little cottage right here. It's called Cozy Cottage, and it's actually the original design by a guy named Leo Stereo. I'm going to put a link to his forum thread where you can read all about it. It's his design. I've made it a few times. I really like it. It's a small, cozy little cottage, hence the name. So we're going to build it right here. And the first thing we're going to need to do here is chop down some trees, clear an area so that we can build it. So just go right ahead. And if you're on this map with me and you want it to do it the same spot, then just follow along. If not, just find an open space that you can build a house that's going to be about eight. Well, the house itself, the foundation is going to be six by eight, but you want some space around that. We'll get to that in a minute. All right, let's do this. And all these leaves will decay, but I'm going to speed that process up with my shears, and I'll show you how. Now, before we do that, let's put down our furnace and our workbench. I'm going to put them over here. Close and accessible. And what we're going to do now is get some sand cooking, and this is going to make glass. So we can put windows in our house. So basically put the sand in the top of the furnace and any kind of fuel that you have. I've got seven pieces of coal. That should be plenty. And as you can see here, it makes a block of glass. I'm just going to let that roast for a while. <laughs> what can I do for you, young sir? <laughs> uh, I already caught one of your little buddies now. If you stick around, I'm going to bring you over there too. All right, now here's what we need. Lots of birch. This is the white tree. I'm going to grab about 20 pieces of this. It's going to be used as part of the, the build. I don't want to break these down to planks, so I want the nice white color. It's going to be a good contrast to the cobblestone. We're going to make a st the house itself is kind of a, a wood and stone structure. I'm just clearing space here. And make sure that you get all the wood so these decay properly, but I'm going to speed that process up as soon as I get the rest of the wood. I'm definitely not going to be able to finish this project in one episode. It might take two, potentially three, it's not a very fancy structure, but it, it could be time consuming. All right, grab your shears, and let me show you what you can do with shears. There's a couple of things to help clear this area. Take your shears and just hit the leaves. And don't, don't miss the wood. And uh, as you can see here, it takes one hit to smack down a leaf, and you can pick them up. So you can collect them. And then we can take those leaves and use them to build things like let me show you right here so you've got leaves and there's multiple colors actually I've got all the same color so far 
But we can use these to design little gardens and shrubbery. A shrubbery, a shrubbery. I particularly like the level effect. <laughs> and here we go. Okay, we've got two different types of leaves. And you can also grab more tall grass with shears, which I had forgotten to mention before when we spoke about tall grass and getting seeds. I neglected to mention that you can collect tall grass with these, with the shears, and you can plant them back down as well. Like so. All right, so let's just make sure we have all this area cleared for our foundation, and that's probably about it as far as we're going to get today. Let me just get rid of this one too. Excusez-moi. I would like a beachfront property, waterfront view, prime location right here. Sorry, pal, it's claimed. Beat it. Beat it. I'll shave your skin off with my shears. That sounds terrible. Okay. That ought to do. That stuff will degrade. I'll have some saplings falling on me as I build, but no worries. All right. Oh, I better grab these. Or I'll hear about it. That is clay. I'll get it later. <laughs> okay, so let's mark off our territory. The foundation. And did I not build another? Oh, we're going to need a couple of new tools, too. This shovel has seen better days. So let's make, actually, um, one more shovel. And it looks like the axe is about had it, too. So let's make another axe. And while I'm here, why don't we break these down to planks. And I think I should make another chest as well. So again, a big project. It's going to take some time. We don't need these. Let's get rid of all this for now. And hang on to those saplings. We're going to particularly the, uh, the white birch saplings, so we can replant those later. We're really only going to need the wood pieces and don't really need the shears anymore. Don't need that rotten flesh. We will need stairs, so we're going to have to make some more. Let's go get a little more birch for this job. We need 20 pieces of birch. There goes the axe. Ah! I left that piece there for a reason, and then I didn't even use it. And I chopped it. I always leave that first little nub I can jump right up on top and grab more. Like that, to get that top piece. It doesn't do you any good if you leave it there for a second and then take care of it, and then take it down. Alright, good enough. Hustle, hustle, hustle. All right, now let's get this foundation started. So it's going to be six by eight, and I don't want it too close to the water in the event we may break through underground. There might be some water under there, so I'm gonna do it out here a little more. I'm gonna face the door out that way. I'm gonna start right about here. Let's go one, two, three, four, five, six. It's going to be six wide and eight in length. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven. I lost count with that crunch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. So this will be the foundation. This is the size of the foundation that's going to be the house. Again, it's small and cozy and comfortable. We can always build off of this later. But the idea right now is to get a shelter up as rapidly as we can to get in and safe. So once you have your foundation exterior perimeter all set up, you just want to dig down. Actually, we want to dig down three. So hop right in. That's three. And then just clear the entire part right out, the whole middle section. And I'm going to do a time lapse here. I'm going to speed this up. So I'm going to stop talking now and Get ready, here we go. All 
Okay, I'm back. And it looks like night is already falling. Super. Great. Just lovely. Alright, so now we can get out of there. And let's take a look. So that's it. Six by eight. Perfect. And now we're going to fill in the foundation. Now we can do this at night or I can raise the sun. You know what? It's fun to work at night. I like it. Let's do it. Working by moonlight. Little OT. I get paid more that way too, don't I? All right, we're going to need um, cobble. And I don't think we have enough for the entire project, so I'm going to have to go out and get some more. But now let's hop down here into the foundation and just fill the entire thing with cobble stone. This is a really dangerous spot to be. <laughs> One creeper and it's hasta la vista, baby. We'll just go right ahead, put stone in all around the walls. This is going to be the basement. And I'm definitely going to need some more cobblestone more than that too. I think it's we're going to require about three stacks of cobble. I guess that doesn't have to be cobble. Although I'll probably see it when I get down there, won't I? Oh darn it. Alright, now let's grab some wood and we're going to hop back down here and make the floor will be wood. Oh, you can't see that. Okay. You could, f you could save a few cobble pieces by not filling in that corner with cobble and just fill it with dirt. It doesn't show up actually, but Okay, so now that we have our cellar, let's hop back on out of there. And that's good. All right, now let's make... Um, we're going to start putting up the walls. Now we need about 20 pieces of these. The door is going to be here, so we're going to leave an opening for the door. But what you want to do is grab your wood blocks. And I'm going to use birch here because it looks nice. You just go to each corner and plop it down. You can actually make it double high. I'll try to get the frame up for this episode and then we're probably going to take a break. Alright, now um, let's take the cobble and we're going to put it like so and that's going to leave two spaces in the front. We're going to have a double door on here. Those torches won't stay there all the time. It's just there for temporary purposes. And then just go right around and put up your wall, your base wall like that and now we can fill in the floor the floor is going to go it's going to be really really um, low ceiling <laughs> in the basement but that's okay it's only a basement I can be living down there it's gonna feel rather claustrophobic so I'm gonna use wooden planks for the floor we have no access to the basement at the moment don't worry about that. We will fill that. We'll get away down there in a future episode. Okay, now we're going to make a front uh, step and stoop and overhang. So you want to put two blocks there, two blocks on the side, and take your steps if you have any, and you make a front step. If you don't have any steps, let's go make some right now. Uh, how many steps do we need? We're going to need, I think... A, about 32 steps eventually. So why don't we make, yeah, we're going to use them a lot for the uh, for the roof. Let's just grab about 36. Okay, that's probably not going to be enough wood. And here's the rain. It's dark. It's rainy. We don't have a ceiling right now. I should probably there's a cave sound. I should probably go back to my hidey hole and get some sleep and wait for the <laughs> wait for the sun and the rain because this project right now is not going to work out for us. So why don't we do that? Let's head back to the hidey hole. We will check on our glass. Let's grab the glass. And now that we have our well, we have our basement done, somewhat of a frame. Not really. 
But that's going to have to do for now. I don't want to work in the rain or the night. Let's head back to the hidey hole. And I'll show you how to get day. And hurry, hurry, there's that neighbor again. It's the other one. It's his brother. You cut my roses. All right, now let's sleep. Just walk up to your little Betty, and you, well, you know how to sleep. Okay, monsters are near nearby. It will not let me sleep until I slaughter my neighbor. Yoo hoo! Let's talk about the roses. It wasn't me. Besides, terrible spot for roses. Okay, let's sleep through the night and see if that eliminates the rain for us. It's gonna be a nice, beautiful day. Nice, beautiful day. Nice, beautiful day. Yep, okay. <laughs> that worked out pretty well. And while we're here, we need a lot more cobble. So get some more cobble. If you're on this map, you should not be wanting for cobble. This stuff is everywhere. Grab this coal while I'm here. Good enough. I'll be back for the rest. I'm mostly interested in the cobble. All right, let's try to get this frame done at the very least. I'm not sure how long this episode is right now. I don't want to take it too much longer. But let's at least get walls up lower wall at least. So just go around with your cobble like so. And we're going to hop up here. I'm going to put more of the birch log up. Make it a little higher. And we're going to take our cobble. Go right along like so. And we'll get our windows up too. And we're going to put the doors here and they are going to have solid stone next to them. Two doors. Windows. Okay, now we still obviously need a roof above our heads. <laughs> that would help. Um, we have the glass, right? So let's put the glass in. And what I'm going to do is you can do a big window in the back. So we'll do that. Or you can make the whole thing windows all the way around. Now there are two ways to make windows. We can just use the big block like this and just stuff it in. And it's pretty much flush all the way around. That's one look. Let's take a look at the other way to do it. So we'll need a crafting table for this. So go ahead and take your glass blocks and arrange them like so. And you'll get 16 glass panes for six glass blocks. Not a bad deal. Glass panes look a little bit differently. They don't take up the entire space and I think they look better as windows, frankly. And they do turn around corners too, so you don't have to um, have anything there. I want the birch there because it looks nicer, but if you wanted a whole glass window around a corner, you could do so with the pane. And when you break glass, it goes away. You don't get it back and the same goes for glass panes. As far as I know, that's how it used to be. Although there was a time in one of the pre-releases where you could recover it. Doesn't seem to be the case anymore. Good. I think it's silly. Silly, I tell you. Or right, I'm going to have it. See there? It'll take up half a block until you make an adjoining one. And then you get a, a nice big bay window. All right. Super. So now we have some windows. And we still need doors, though. Let's make our front stoop. Actually, let's put up the doors first. Here's my wood. We're going to make two doors, a double door system here. And then we'll be relatively safe. We're going to place these from the outside. Okay, so now we could stay here for the night. Nothing's going to drop from the sky, most likely. Something may spawn on a tree and hop in, but the likelihood of that is pretty slim. Um, we're not ready to put the roof on just yet, so why don't we step back a little ways, take a look at our budding project, our cozy cottage. 
All right. Well, that's coming along fine. And in the next episode, what we'll do is we'll finish up the overhang, put a roof on top, and, uh, and we should be complete with this project. So uh, I'll see you next time. I'm going to end this here, and um, I should hope to get the next one up relatively quickly. I just want to split this into two. I don't want them going too long. So I'll see you next time. Um, stay tuned. Bye-bye.